my producers wanted to flip this around. They wanted you to ask me mailbag questions. Excellent. So that's what we're going to do. Excellent. All right. Mailbag question number one. What's the all-time most unbelievable sports movie moment? This is a really important question. Uh -huh. <laughs> I would say I, I still think somebody turning into a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, they're on a high school basketball game. They're just watching some Michael J. Then, Fox. Yeah, he, he literally turned into a werewolf. I, I, they're, That's they're, the they're most unbelievable sports movie moment. Okay. Yeah, it has to be. Uh, my mind was going in a totally different direction. With All right, that what one. would you have said? I don't know, like... Miracle? You well, know? Miracle happened, though. <laughs> I know, but it's unbelievable that they beat Russia, and then they won the gold medal. All right, next question. Arnold Palmer will live on through his signature drink. What would a Tiger Woods signature drink look like? Oh, no. <laughs> um, probably an Arnold Palmer with, like, a cheap liquor and some Ambien. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, Tiger. Yeah, sorry, Tiger. You're not um, friends with them, are you? I am. Uh, yeah. I don't know how else to answer it. All right, so should the winner of the wild card game get a champagne party? No, no. I either think you can't have champagne until you win the pennant, or the liquor should escalate each round. So the first round would be like Natty Lights. Got it. Just pour it. And then it would just get the beer and the liquor would get better totally. as it went on. I get that. Have you ever had a champagne party? No, I, I think that's... It really hurts your eyes. Yeah, it kills your eyes, right? Like, that, like, people are like, oh, I mean, if I won, I would never wear the goggles. Yeah, yes, you would. <laughs> right. Yes, you would. When did you have a champagne party? After the last World Cup. Oh, really? Yeah. And it's actually really funny because in 2011, we scored in overtime. We were about to win, and then Sawa scores, and then we lose. So our whole staff was, like, putting the paper, the stuff up, ready, ready for us to have the champagne party and the shower, and <clears throat> as soon as we lost, they're like ripping it down. They're trying to put our stuff back in our lockers, like exactly how we left it. People like lost stuff. Ugh. Brutal. All right. That's by far your worst loss, right? That in the state championship game. <laughs> in high school. Okay. <laughs> Who's the most underrated athlete that's ever played in the last decade? That's a good one. Thank you. I really like that one. I actually think Serena's underrated. Agree. Yeah. I, th I think she's actually better than people realize, and the fact that she's still able to play at this level yeah. in her mid thirties. I love that is you insane. chose a woman. That was oh, thanks. That was really it wasn't smart. even intentional. It was, I really, really felt smart. that way. <laughs> um, I think that Serena is so badass, and um, her, you know, wanting to be known as one of the greatest of all time, not female, because it's so true. It's like, like I'm an athlete, and no matter what, whether she's playing on the women's side or the men's side, she's going to go down as the greatest of all time. Okay, so I have one final question. Okay. Why don't you have a picture of me up here? I mean, you have one of Brandy. Brandy Chastain. This is, this is literally I, bullshit. I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was an iconic women's soccer moment. That is an iconic women's soccer moment. No disrespect. I love Brandy. What picture do you want of you up here? We'll put one up. Um, I don't know. Is there an iconic Abby picture? Um, that's a really good question. All right, we'll find one. I'll, I'll sneak you on. We'll bump. I don't you know. In. I, Sorry, I like Brandy. had like 184 goals, so I'm sure you're gonna find There's one. So 